is one of my favorite things to eat and my shirt clearly says all I care about is pasta and like three people and that is the truth. So, and, but I will say this, for all of you out there talking about how I'm gonna lose weight, you can purchase my guidebook at carbsintocurves.com. I have lost 115 pounds naturally by eating pasta, eating bread. I don't give up anything. I eat really, really good. I actually eat the food that I cook. So purchase that today. I will link it down below. But anyway, today we're gonna be making salmon and shrimp linguine with a creamy, buttery, lemony type sauce. Woo! something good, I get excited. And then we're gonna to top it off with some toasted breadcrumbs, and of course, you know, it's gonna be simple, easy, and good as hell, downright delicious. So stay tuned for this tutorial. I want to start with baking my Atlantic salmon. Now I'm going to take the skin off and so if you don't have a sharp knife you just use your hand and I'm going to use my thumb and apply pressure a little bit and just pull the skin back gently just like this right here. So easy just take your time and you'll get it off just like that. See look we're done. Throw it to the side. Then I'm going to season mine with some Cajun seasoning and a little bit of salt. You can do whatever you want and then I'm going to put it into my pan or an oven safe dish and uh, bake it for about eight to ten minutes on three 375 degrees so I've got some boiling water here and I'm just going to salt it really good and then I'm going to add my pasta to that uh, water and I'm just going to nestle my linguine right on in there make sure that you get it all in so nothing burns or anything like that just nestle it in just like a little baby taking a nap go right ahead and put it in there just like that so to make our breadcrumbs we'll need some croutons I got cheese and garlic because they're already seasoned and I'm going to put it into a ziplock bag and make sure I get all of the air out and zip it up really really well and then we're just going to take our frustration out on this on these croutons the damn husband got on your nerves the job that got on your nerves the kids take it out on them to take it out on them croutons today smash it down honey bang it down till it look just like this right here that's what you want it to look like okay so then i'm gonna take about a teaspoon a tablespoon of butter and i'm just gonna melt it down okay i'm on low heat right now because we don't want our croutons to burn or you know anything like that when we're making our breadcrumbs so we want to put our breadcrumbs in our crouton breadcrumbs <laughs> and then i'm just gonna get them nice and toasty. I'm on medium heat. I don't want them to burn. So I'm just going to keep turning them just like that right there until they get nice and golden brown. In the meantime, add a little bit of parsley to it and then just turn it over just like that until they get nice and toasty. These are so good. They're like crack, y'all. They are so good. And you want them to look just like that. When they look like that, they are done. So our salmon is done. And what we're going to do is just take a fork and just flake it very gently, okay? You don't want to make it really, really small. You want to have those chunks in there. Salmon, okay? You want to have it chunky so you can taste all your stuff up in the pasta, okay? We want it to look just like that. And then we're going to start our sauce. So over medium heat, I have half a stick of butter. I'll list the recipe in the, in the uh, description box below. I'm going to bloom some garlic powder. So I'm going to put that down with the half a stick of butter. And I'm just going to whisk that around to get nice and melted and have our garlic powder to uh, bloom. This is what we call blooming. When you bloom a dry powder, a dry seasoning, that's called blooming, okay? And we're going to take, you know, I swear by this, y'all. My Nor seasoning, I'm going to put that in there too. And I'm just going to have that balloon with our garlic and the melted butter and then just whisk that around just like that on medium heat. You don't want anything to burn, guys, okay? And then we're just going to add our heavy cream to that. I have about two cups of heavy cream. I'm going to put in there on medium heat. I don't want anything to burn. And get that all in there and just give it a whisk just like that to get everything nice and combined. And I'm going to add some lemon juice to that. And if you're allergic to lemons, don't put that in there. And then a little bit of salt and some pepper because you want to season it. And make sure you taste it and adjust your seasonings to your liking. And a little bit of parsley flakes, this is optional. You know, I just want a little color in mine, so that's why I did that. I wanted to look, you know, a little fancy. That's how. That's why I did that. So then I put some Parmesan cheese. You have to have this. This is what makes the dish so, so good. And it's going to also thicken up our sauce. So you want your Parmesan. And just give that a whisk just like that till it gets well combined and all that. Then I'm going to take some medium-sized shrimp. I use medium-sized because I wanted shrimp in every single bite when I eat this pasta. So big shrimp tend to take away from that, but it's up to you. And I'm just going to swirl that around. These don't take long to get done at all. And then I'm going to add our cooked pasta that we have and put that down in there. And then we're just going to fold everything together nice and gently. And you're going to see the sauce is going to start to thicken up when you add your pasta in there. That's what you want to happen. You want to to get sucked up in there just like that then I'm going to take the flake salmon make sure that you gently put this in because you don't want to break it up okay you want it to still be chunky so that you can get those nice good chunky 
uh, bits of salmon in your mouth. That's what you want. So I'm going to fold it in gently, just like that. Be nice and easy with this, guys. Just fold it in, and we're pretty much done. That's it. It's done. So I'm going to take some parsley, some fresh parsley. I call this like food grass. This is optional. You don't have to do that. But I want it to look really pretty. So I'm just chopping it up just like that. And we are done. I've got my pasta bowl. And I've got a bowl so everything can just stock up. And look how that cream just soaked to just, you know, cling to those noodles, that pasta, just like that. Mmm, so creamy and delicious. I'm going to put some more on here. And my salmon, remember, will be flaked it. It is nice and chunky. Look at that. Look at that. Just like that. So I'm just going to nestle it down in here. Get in there. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my God, y'all. Look at this. And if you really want to impress them, you just take your things, your little tongs, and you just nestle it down in there just like that. And I'm going to take a little bit of these shrimp. I like bite-sized shrimp. You can use colossal shrimp. You can use large shrimp, whatever you want. But I use medium-sized because I wanted to make sure that I got a piece of shrimp in every single dang on bite. That's what I wanted. And look at that. So beautiful. So this is what we have to do now. We're going to chop it with some parsley. Woo! Look at that. Chop it with some parsley. Look how pretty that looks. And then our toasted breadcrumbs that we had. Look at that. So beautiful. Look. This is so easy, guys. You saw how I made this shit. It doesn't take you no time to do it. Okay, no time. Just do it. And then I've got some freshly grated Parmesan cheese. Now, I got this grated from the Dollar Tree, but I put some more on top because, baby, I like cheese. You just call me a damn rat or something. I don't care. I like cheese. And then because I'm over the top, I want a little bit more breadcrumbs. When you put the breadcrumbs on it's almost like you don't have to make any garlic bread. You know what I mean? Look at that. That is so cute. Ha! And it's going to be so damn good. So it's time to taste it. So now it's time to taste it. Because you know you got to always taste it and it good now. Make sure it's good. Oh my God. Y'all. This is mm. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, come on in here now. The butter, that small hint of lemon from that lemon juice we put in there, that chunky salmon, those bite-sized shrimp, oh my god, so good, and that Parmesan cheese. Woo! Woo! Y'all got to go and make this. Go and make this dish today. It's so easy, so simple. It won't break your bank. Listen, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Check out my weight loss website, Cards Into Curves, and also purchase my mac and cheese recipe. I will link that down below. All of the ingredients will be posted down below along with the measurement, so don't worry, don't fret, and give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Come on now. You get all the deets before everybody else. If I post the recipe before I post it to social media, you won't know. And I don't know about you, but I know the Bible says that the last shall be first and the first shall be last. Now, you got to make a pick decision today about which one you want to be. Subscribe to this channel, guys. Give it a thumbs up. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to check out all of my deets down in the description box. And I can't wait to see you next time. Bye. And I can't wait to taste it, girl. You